What's up, everyone? Punchy, ow, oh, back here, and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. So last time we meet Mion while we're with Shion. That's all I'm gonna say. But Punchy Chan, and why are you here? This has nothing to do with you. I'm on a date with Punchy Chan right now. Huh, what? Oh, I kind of feel bad for Mion. Since we found out that from Shion that um that she uh she likes she likes me. She likes us. Also it's, it's weird, it's like their roles are their faces are switched. Why is Punchy Chan? Even if you ask why, I'd like to know the answer myself. Mian looked at me with an expression of confusion and surprise. But that was the same with me. If she was there, then who was next to me? I said it right at the beginning. I'm Shian Sonazaki, my sister's younger twin. Punchy Chan, you even call me Shian, don't you? Shion, saying that pouted cutely. What's going on? Tell me, Shion. Not much. I was wondering what kind of person this Punchy Chan you were so infatuated was with, with was. So I happened to give him a ticket to the dessert festa. There, while I was being bothered by all sorts of troublesome customers, Punchy Chan gallantly appeared and saved me by kicking them all to the curb, or something like that, with help from the uh, oh Jesus Christ, big sound. Both me and I raised our voices pathetically, expressing our confusion to the utmost. Mion, you phoned me yesterday, right? I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. I delivered the bento for you, didn't I, Punchy Chan? That was me, right? Or was it my sister? The person known as me and Sonazaki put together a bento and bravely went to a boy's home to deliver it. Maybe? Oh, you're a lot bolder than you look, sis. With all a pop, a trail of smoke began to rise from me and head. No, I I don't know, I don't know. See, Punchy Chan? My sister says she doesn't know. So everything up until yesterday was me, she and Sonazaki. You might have had thought it was my sister pretending to be me. But with this, there's no doubt, right? Oh god. This is gonna suck so much later on. I can tell up from down at this moment. You're not alone. If there was a mirror around, I could have seen my eyes go wide from the shock. Now, little miss shopkeeper, could you wrap up that doll in the window? It's the first present from the person I've come to love, so make sure you tie it up nicely with a ribbon. I can't tell if she's like teasing her or like legitimately torturing her if Mian is the one, if she knows Mian likes us too. Mian, completely flustered, was being cornered by sly faced Shion. My brain, my brain stopped working. What? What? Uh huh? Punchy Chan? What is going on? Well, let's go! Punchy Chan, it's already dark out, so I'll see you home. Sis, sorry, but could you phone the house in Okinomiya and have them send out a car? Maybe a van that we could fit a bike into, please? In contrast to Shion, who had glee written all over her face, Mian had em was an empty shell and looked like she could burst in tears at any moment. Oh, Punchy Chan? After that, Mian's, grumbling was, were un Mian's grumblings were unrelenting. Ugh. We're gonna have a talk about this tomorrow at school, aren't we? Ah, uh, uh, is she being is she just being mean to her sister? I don't know. New tip. This music really doesn't fit. If I'm honest. <laughs> All right, it hasn't been a while. This is gonna be such a problem for us. So, a new tip. Oh, look. 
So this is what Xion looks like from the uh, original, um, or I say original, the sp uh, Steam sprites. I don't know. Xion doesn't seem completely different than what we th she seemed like in the beginning. I don't know what to think. Stop saying it's been a while. Uh, we see each other every day up until yesterday, haven't we? Whatever. If you say so, we'll go with that. Someone from Sheen's house came to get me in a station wagon. I had initially refused, but Sheen insisted, so both my bicycle and I ended up stuffed in the car. Said car was currently driving across the single bumpy road leading to Hinamizawa. For goodness sake. Shin was at Mian's level at least, or maybe even better, an even better actor. Either way, no matter what questions I press with her, she slipped out of them like an eel. Still, you two look so alike. If you tied your hair back like Mian, Mian does, would you ex look exactly like her? Who knows? That's probably what would happen. We're identical twins, through and through. In the past, we could just change our clothes and no one would be the wiser. I remember we'd swap places at every opportunity and fooled a lo whole lot of people. <laughs> the middle-aged driver wearing a black suit heaved a heavy sigh, like he were a butler. What's wrong, Kasai? That was a pretty deep sigh. Excuse me, I was just thinking that you haven't changed. You, would, you could see many years of hardship on the man's face through the rearview mirror. Poor Kasai. Or Kasai. Anyway, Punch Chun, your house was around here, right? Kasai doesn't know much about Hinamazawa aside from the road that goes down to the Sonozaki main house. If you leave it to him, he'll take you all the way to Yagochi. I, I don't want that. Excuse me, could you stop at the narrow road at the next right? I'll walk from there. So I guess we learned that Shion isn't like how we imagined, all girly and stuff. She's pretty much like Mian. I feel bad for Mian now. <laughs> he stopped the car at the desired place. The driver, Kansai-san, got my bike out of the trunk for me. Ah, sorry about that. Thank you very much for showing me home today. Oh, hello sir. <laughs> what facial hair you have. Was it Punch-san? Your name that is. Eh, uh, yeah. You must be having various difficulties, but I believe she will grow tired soon, so please endure things until then. He gave me a deep, deep look of sympathy. This guy's definitely been dealing with the Sonozaki scissors ever since they were little kids. So that means she'll be much of a bother as me and right? The man's face froze in a smile, his reply lost. Hey, back me up here. Bye, Punchy Chan. We'll see each other again soon. Say hi to my sister for me too. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Maybe I'll we'll start going to Hinamazawa tomorrow? We're never gonna know if it's her or she. Oh god. Don't you dare. If you transferred in, I'll transfer out to a school in Okinomiya. Wow, that was really mean, Punchy chan. I'll short people the horn. The man gave a little wave to me from the driver's seat. Then the car withdrew into the dark night roads, leaving dust in its wake. Man, this entire day made no sense. I ran to Nian, whilst with Xion and the former's expression, like a pigeon shot with a pellet gun, it finally began to make a strong impression on me. Yeah. Nian looked like. Oh, I mean, I guess it's, there's only so many like sprites that they have for them, but I don't know. She seemed. She sounded sad to me that we were on a date with her sister. Look how evil she looks. Jeez. Alright. No, this music, it, it doesn't it doesn't help at all. Alright, let's get this going. Oh, we're gonna hear about it at school. The next day... See, this seems more appropriate if I'm strange. I mean, <laughs> if I'm honest. It was a strange day. Ramian was so desperate to regain her composure. Every time her eyes met, she would say that she had something to do or that she had to use the washroom and run off. Unable to just watch, Rena was taking care of her the entire time. Rena, what do we do? Mian-san, she's acting totally strange today. 
I know the whole story, but it's hard to explain. There are times when girls are emotionally unstable. It's best to just leave her alone. Hmm? Turning around, I saw Rena calling me from the hallway. I wonder what it was. Oh, please don't yell at us. Punchy Kun, over here, over here. What is it? Calling me over like this? Is it a secret? Um, that is. It looks like it was a disaster. <laughs> um, yeah. Michan seems pretty seemed pretty broken. By summer, I got her working again. I'm surprised you managed it. How did you exactly? Same way I do with the television. Just come at it from a 45 degree angle and yeah. Seeing that she made a chopping motion. You know I can't tell. I can't tell if you're joking or not, right? She'll be fine by tomorrow. Also, there's something I want you to do, Punchy Kun. I didn't mean to do anything wrong, but I still feel guilty. I'm listening. Thanks. You see, Michan is just going to pretend the last few days never happened. Never happened, huh? I see. Well, that's one way to run from it. So you see, Punchy Kun, could you pretend too? Then Michan can go back to normal. J just doing something as simple as that. Is it really going to be okay? Please, until Michan gets her feelings in order, just go with it. Okay, I got it. Even though I shouldn't have been at fault, for some reason I felt guilty. That's true, we were caught in the middle. There's not much we could do. The one at fault here was the one who knew about the entire situation pretending to be Mian for an entire day. Xi'an! Uh, but... She never once said that she was me on. Ugh. What am I supposed to be angry at? Seeing me stomping the ground impatiently, Rena giggled. But Punchy Kun, you knew as well that Michan has some cute things about her. Rena talked in a calm voice as her hair rustled in the wind. Yeah. I know that she'll never let it be boring. Good. Following this curt reply, Rena looked up at the sky and stretched. As long as you realize that, Punchy Kun, these past few days will soon be nothing more than a story to laugh about. Copying Rena, Alice began to stretch as I looked at the sky. The clear sky towered in the distance. There is no club activities or anything today. I'm sorry, Punchy Kun, but just for today, can you go home by yourself? It'll all be back to normal by tomorrow. So just for today, okay? If all it took for everything to go back to normal was to leave Mian alone for today, then it was an easy decision to make. Got it. I can't say it directly to Mian, so I'll say it to you. I still feel kind of guilty about it, so I want to apologize. Ah, no! The root of the problem was Punchy Kun saying something insensitive, right? So if you learned anything from this, you need to look a bit into getting a sense of delicacy. Right, right, I'll try. I feel really bad. You know, like, just me by myself. That day was the shortest day of my life. Ren was talking to me and while comforting her around the entire time. It looked like a really fun conversation, so I reflexively thought about joining in, but I had made a promise not to. It seemed that Mia was also trying her best to ignore me. So likewise, I did my best to ignore her. For the first time in a while, I ate lunch alone. Me and Rena ate theirs by themselves. As I let out of a sigh in my ashen mood, Riku-chan came over and patted me on the head. Both Punchy and me learned a whole lot. I never say it like that. It made it sound like we were having romantic problems. I didn't like that one bit. Hopefully the teacher would notice and call us to the staff room after school or something. I'm sure that Punchy will grow up to be a wonderful adult. Hmm. Rika Chan is a studious type. So maybe you'll grow up to be an amazing, wonderful adult? Of course. When I grow up, I'll be super amazing. My, when I grow up, I'll be an amazing lady, you know? No matter how old you get, you'll still be a brat. You can put money on it. What did you say? As Satoko snapped her fingers, 
A wasp patient fell from above, hitting me squarely in the head. Oh. What do you think you're doing, Satoko? Ooh, jeez. Getting a Super Smash Brothers in here. It was a day I could thoroughly appreciate the value of having friends. Well, that was a quick little tidbit. I don't know if they're separating the chapters or anything, but that's a quick section. Oh man. I don't know. I really have no clue where this is going at all. Like with the other one, when I kind of found out more about Rena and she got creepy, I was like, okay, bad stuff's gonna happen. Now, I don't know. I'm just really confused. <laughs> Can't guess at all what's gonna happen next, really. Today was Saturday, so, so school ended in a blink of an eye. You have school on Saturday, Punchy? I'm so sorry. It really felt good to go home with the sun so high in the sky. On any other day, our club would have been up to mischief during our ample after school time, but today, Rikachan had a rehearsal for tomorrow's Watsanagashi to go to. Oh, it's common. How is that going, Rikachan? Do you have it down in practice? I'll try harder than last year. You were so exhausted and sweaty after last year's ceremony. She'll look far more fit for the role this year. Please look forward to the fruits of her training. The Watanagashi festival everyone had been talking about was tomorrow, wasn't it? The festival being in June felt a little early to me, but the onset of summer came quickly this year, so it fit the image of a summer festival pretty well. Okay, we'll be off then. Look forward to tomorrow. Good day to you all. Oh, it's tomorrow, guys. Ooh, that's when shit goes down. Stoko and Rika trying to wave at us energetically, then left. You know, I never asked. Where is the festival happening anyway? I don't remember there being anywhere around here that seems suited for hosting one. They do it at the Furude Shrine. We went there for a walk one day, remember? It was that place with a really good view. Oh, right, I remember. There was a shrine all the way up on that hill, wasn't there? It seemed far too grand for Hinamazawa. There's a great meeting hall in the shrine too. The older people get together there and sing karaoke or practice calligraphy from time to time. It's more like a recreational facility than a simple shrine. I see. I guess it makes sense that it looks so grand then. Things are going pretty swell. Michan, is your family going to help set up today? Yep, we have male hands for that. Most of our relatives come from town to help. Male hands, huh? I mean, I have nothing to do at home today, so... Would be a problem if I squaring my way in there to help out too? Huh? Oh, I see a little brief little shrink. You want to help us, Punchy chan Not if it'll bother you all. I was just kind of interested. We had bond dances and other festivals in town I used to live in, but I didn't even know where, to, where they took place, much less wanted to help. You could say that I had absolutely no connection to the region. Having come to Hinamazawa though, it really made me feel like this place was a home that I had returned to. Before I knew it, I harbored a little in interest in the small in the small community activity of, uh, Jesus, of preparing for a festival the day before. I wonder if you'll be able to, punchy Kun. There's a lot of building tents and setting up chairs. I hear it's pretty hard physical labor. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it alone, right? The more hands we have, the faster it'll go. Bean looked happy to hear that. But at the same time, her expression was complex, tinged with hesitation. Rena gave her the last push for me. It's decided then. You should go for it, Punchy Kun. He's all yours, Michan. Put him through the ringer. Well, I can't argue with the recommendation from Rena. Okay then, go home first, put on some work clothes, then come to the shrine. Oh, and you might want to bring a towel to wipe your sweat too. Got it. I really may look scrawny, but I'm actually qu I actually quite like breaking a sweat under the hot sun. Carefully you don't hurt your back? Okay. Right, enough of my old man spiel. I'll go to the shrine too, as soon as I've changed. 
Michan, do your best too. Bye bye. Mean waved vigorously to us and left. As far as I could tell from her gallant, retreating figure, she seemed to have recovered from the weak state she had yesterday. Girls are quick to get over things. Michan is already fine. Right. Her switching back to her normal. Switch her switching back to normal so cleanly really makes it easy for me to talk to her. It was kind of funny though, wasn't it? Kind of like Cinderella. Like, you can't meet her anymore once the magic wears off. Rena began to giggle a fair bit in amusement. Did she like this sort of thing? Incidentally, me going along with it gave me a weird, uh, hard to describe feeling. Did I turn myself into a plaything, or did they do it for me? If you think it's so funny, then you should try pretending to be a different Rena too. No, 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 don't let her do that. Yeah, that sounds like fun. No, it doesn't. Punchy-kun, what kind of Rena would you want to meet? This one's fine. Please stay this one. One with the bus size of at least 90. Whoa. Huge knockers that you're okay with me touching. I, I can't do that. You should be great at cooking and make me lunch and come to see me in the mornings. I do that already. I pull Rena's hand to a tight grip, then I then start to pet it. You're Re Rena Ryugu, right? Rena, not Reina. That's how I was pronouncing before, wasn't it, actually? Or was it Reina? Reina? Anyway, so you, you just stay as Rena forever, got it? Thanks! Have fun helping set up the festival! You got it! Let's meet up tomorrow! Alright. I got changed right away, and slinging a towel around my neck, like Mean suggested, I set off for the shrine. We're not gonna see Shion, are we? I'm pretty hesitant about seeing Shion, if I'm honest now. Steps. The shrine! At the shrine, there were more people than you'd imagine even than you'd imagine even live in Hinmazawa there, all co uh, coordinating off areas and setting up tent frameworks, chatting amongst themselves as they did so. All right, where is Mion? The liveliness of the throng didn't make it easy to look for her. I searched around as if I already worked there, and suddenly the principal called out to me. Hmm, visit Mary Barakun. Interesting. Have you come to help with the Watanagashi setup? Um, uh, hello. Yeah, I was just wondering if there was anything I could help with. How commendable your attitude is. Feel free to sweat your heart's content. Gah, ah, ah. Hello, principal. Spurred on by the principal, I came upon a group of people setting up tents. Oh, what's this? It's Mirabara-chan. Did you come all this way to help us? I hadn't found me in yet, but I suppose I'd just get in her way if I ran into her. Yeah, I'm here to help. Just tell me where you need me. You young ones have all the vitality. Here, grab some work gloves. Ever built a tent before? No, never. Good time to learn. Delighted in teaching new skills to someone younger, plenty of people happily taught me all sorts of things. That's kind of cute. We're so, we're so much deeper in, like, to the Hinmazawa community than last time. Okay, kid. Go inside the tent and tie up just the cords for the top. After that, we'll stand it up and tie the rest of them. Butterfly knots are okay, right? There and there. All done. We're standing it up. One, two, three! What was once nothing more than a collapsed tent was raised on four splendid legs before my eyes were in, before my eyes in mere moments. Whoa. Seeing it put together like this is actually pretty moving. Come on, no time to stare and wonder. We've got a lot more to do. We packed the tents into the truck, so get them from there. They're heavy, so take someone with you. Nah, I'm good. I'm a scrawny, but I'm actually pretty strong. Whoa! They look light enough, so I thought they were, but they're heavy. That's why I told you to have someone to help. Come on, said the man, lifting it up with a grunt and taking it away under his arm. Either I'm weak, or these old guys all have superhuman strength. Let's go. You're the youngest one here, so we're gonna make you sweat for it. Do your best. Beer after work is the best. Um, I'm a minor. Ah, it's alright, Punchy. No one's gonna know. Sweat dripped from my body. I had been fully and completely absorbed in helping them. I would never have thought the cold barley tea from the woman's society could taste this, this delicious. It sounds like pretty good. I don't see why not. You're so young. 
Make sure you drink a lot. Th th thank you. It was then that I realized a crowd had formed near this shrine a ways off. Oh. Oh. When I took a closer look, I saw a girl dressed in shrine maiden garb and a handful of old men looking like they were preparing for the ceremony together. Is that Rika chan? Hey! Rika chan! Do your best! What is, how do they say it? Ganbarai? Something like that. I shouted and it seemed like she heard me. Rika chan, positively exploding with vitality, answered with a smile. The older guys with me watched Rika chan as well, with distant gazes. Rika-chama is doing a great job. She seems far more used to this than she did last year. The old lady who gave me the tea clasped, clasped what looked like a prayer beads in her hand had, and said, Rika-sama, we thank you, we thank you. And just like that, Mandra respectfully prayed to her. Huh? I just remember what did they call it, the Furude Shrine. Wasn't Rika-chan's full name Rika Furude? The man standing next to me answered my question. That's right. Do I have to talk out loud or something? That's right. Rikachama's Furude clan is ancient and honorable, and has worshipped Oyashiro-sama for generations. That's the, that's the demon, right? Huh? I'd always gotten the feeling she wasn't quite your average person, but it turned out she was from an esteemed family. After her father, who was the shrine priest, died the year before last year. Uh-oh. We remember that. She's really been doing her best to learn the rituals. I wish the priest could have been here to see how wonderful she's grown up. What? Rikishan's father passed away? Okay, break time's over. Let's get the chairs we're not using back to the gym in Okinomiya. Maki-san, pull the truck around here and take a few people with you. Alright, Mirabara-kun, let's get to work on one last job. Get. You're gonna make me do more work? I can't tell if they know I'm a minor or not, but the older men all cheer me on. Encouraging me to do the best, do my best, and that the beer will be great. Ah, funny old guys. Always good for a festival. Punchy Chan working hard, I see. And with Mion. Oh, God. See, before I'm like, it's Shion slash Mion. Like, we don't know. Um, we don't know if she's actually her or if she's someone else. Um. But it still applies, because now, is this really Mion? Is it Xion pretending to be Mion? We don't know. And that sucks. Anyway, we're building up to the festival, so that's cool. Can't wait for that to actually get through. And hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys are having a good day or and or night whenever you're watching this. And I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.